All right, my bad. They had cut off on me. So um, this I was explaining to y'all about the uh, the Yelp token. So in these DApps or whatever. So with these DApps, basically, as you can see, the more you engage in when you share things on the Yelp.io, you actually get paid for it. And this is the trick of what uh, they're trying to basically be in the forefront of with Facebook. And what what I think they're trying to do is um, I'm explaining something to you real quick. So this right here is MetaMask. So MetaMask is a wallet and I, I use this one wallet and this is basically this code right here this little hash or whatever and I use this right here to connect to all these different dApps you use one identity uh, like it's basically like an ID on the blockchain and it's used for you to connect and sign and log into all these different things now I believe what Facebook is trying to, now I believe what Facebook is trying to do is actually create a wallet and basically uh, attach people information to it because this is one of the things that's in the government was going on right now with their debating with these uh, with blockchain technology. They have to have these, um, I can't remember the acronym that's used for it, but it's a, um, it's basically a, um, it's, it's basically what the banks use. So anytime you go to a bank, you have to give them your ID, your social, all this type of stuff. So they're basically trying to attach these um, I identifying factors to a wallet so people can basically uh, use it in a mass thing. Now, if people join it through the MetaMask or through a wallet where it's not identified to who you are in the real world, that's what they're trying to stop. That's the real trick of it. Because not only is that, that factor, but it's also the factor of making money off of this stuff. Excuse me. <clears throat> the factor of making money off this stuff and then it being decentralized and owned by the people that use it. That's really the movement of what's going on with decentralized and AKA the metaverse. That's really what the metaverse is. It's basically where, so blockchain technology, when you do something on there, it cannot be taken off. And, the, and, and that right there, it creates the factor of not being hacked or, or cracked into it or whatever. So the more blocks are created, the harder it is to, uh, to, to hack it. And it's basically impossible to hack it. It's impenetrable to a certain degree. You have to have uh, strong computers or a, uh, you have to have a, a, a computers filled out, basically filling up a football field, something like that, like a giant computer, you know, that has all these, you know, basically a, a, a supercomputer to hack this. And this is the thing about blockchain technology. This is why it's so important and why they're trying to transfer this stuff to it. But they need to have identifier marks attached to you to be able to really use it how they want to use it. The technology is meant for decentralized. No one controls it or no one owns it. The people control it and the people own it. But they don't want that. Stay woke, my people.